Voters in Doniana County will be asked whether Doniana Community College can use up to $15 million of general obligation bonds for facility improvements, upgrades, and construction, along with the mill levy question that is asking to fund operations at the community college. Eddie Bender, Director of Public Relations and Advancement, shares what the two questions will address for Doniana Community College. The capital funding pretty much will go ahead and take care of a lot of the buildings that we have and they'll, they'll uh, be able to remodel them, be able to modernize them and make sure that students are working with the most up-to-date equipment uh, that they're going to see on their jobs. And so uh, from that aspect it's important. The operating funds are really going to help as far as uh, students that are in some of the outlying communities that want to do, say, certificate programs like we have, like with welding, like with CDL, truck driving, and, and we'll be able to offer those at, at some of the outlying campuses, which people have requested from those communities. The mill levy question asks for an additional quarter property tax per each $1,000 of net taxable value of property. So let's say you have a home worth $150,000 that equals out to about $37.50. Merle Schwamm, a local accountant and member of Friends of Doniana Community College, says an investment in the community college is an investment in the local economy. I personally believe that the community college is vital to the economic development of Doniana County and that's why I'm involved. I want the students, we need a trained workforce here to develop the economy. Early voting is underway in the Doniana County Clerk's Office during regular office hours through January 30th. Election day is February 3rd. For CARE WG, I'm Anthony Moreno.